today, this is Maria Elisa Keday Mapalo and now I will discuss about dangerous drugs. So at the end of the lesson, the student must able to meet these following objectives. First, differentiate types of dangerous drugs. And second, describe the laws against abuse of drugs. So the presence work by inhibiting the central nervous system and slowing the heart rate respiratory and gastrointestinal systems this results in a feeling of relaxation peace and often sleepiness so the example of the presence are cannabis and gamma hydrohybutyrate so the advantage of this are established efficiency in adhd positive effects on sleeps and may be used for patient with disorders and the disadvantage are need for cardiac monitoring so hallucinogens can change your sense of reality you can have hallucinations your sense are distorted and the way you see hear taste smell or feeling things is different the examples of this is mescaline and magic mushroom the advantages of hallucinogens are sociability enjoyment state of mind and relieve anxiety while the disadvantage are risk of society risk of injecting and risk of being so stimulants often called uppers are the kinds of drugs that make people feel super changed with energy and focus even to the point of feeling invisible the example of stimulants are methyl pedinate and dextroamphetamine the advantage of stimulants are cognitive advantage improved behavior hyperactivity and motivational while the disadvantage are reduced sexual functioning and chronic exhaustion narcotics are also known as opioids it does the sense and relieve pain though some people uh, they refer to all drugs as narcotics the examples of narcotics are heroin and oxycodone. The advantage of these are reduced pain and reduced anxiety, while the disadvantage are euphoric effect can cause coma and respiratory depression. These are the law against abuse of drugs. First is the Republic Act number no. 9165. In this law, the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency was created for the efficient and effective law enforcement of all the provisions of dangerous drugs, precursors, and chemical or essential chemicals. Second is the Republic Act number no. 10640, an act to further strengthen the anti-drug campaign of the government amending for the purpose of the section 21 of the republic act number 9165 otherwise known as the comprehensive dangerous drugs act of 2000 and third is the republic act number uh, 7624 an act integrating drug prevention and control in the intermediate and secondary curricula as well as the in the non-formula informal and indigenous learning system and for the other purposes.